Hey everyone, it's me, Teacher Hunter. I've been looking around at different people today and noticing their different shapes and sizes. It's really interesting to see how different people can be. Today, I want to teach you about the different appearances of other people. We're going to take a look at the different people in Nam's life and see how they look, too. Are you guys ready today? Yes! We're going to learn about appearance. Let's get started. Here we're going to learn about appearance and their opposites. Let's take a look at our first one. Tall. Tall. Tall, tall, tall. Tall, tall, tall. Looking at this picture, this man is really tall. Opposite of tall is short. Short. Short, short, short. Short, short, short. Do you know anybody who is tall? Yes. Do you know anybody who is short? Yes. Wow, that's great. Next, we have thin. Thin. Thin, thin, thin. Thin, thin, thin. Good job. Opposite of thin is fat. Fat. Fat, fat, fat. Fat, fat, fat. Perfect. Then we have young. Young. Young, young, young. Young, young, young. Good job. Opposite of young is old. Old. Old, old, old. Old, old, old. Good job. And our last pair, we have big. Big. Big, big, big. Big, big, big. And small. Small. Small, small, small. Small, small, small. Good job. These are appearances and their opposites. Let's repeat all the names together. Tall. Tall. Short. Short. Thin. Thin. Fat. Fat. Young. Young. Old. Old. Big. Big. Small. Small. Perfect. We have eight words. Let's spell them all together. Tall. Tall. T-A-L-L. T-A-L-L. -L. Short. Short. S H O R T. S H O R T. Perfect. Thin. Thin. T H I N. T H I N. Fat. Fat. F A T. F A T. Young. Young. Y O U N G. Y O U N G. Old. Old. O L D. O L D. Big. Big. B I G. B I G. And small. Small. S M A L L. S M A L L. Good job. Our next activity, we're going to have to know how to spell these words. So I hope you were paying attention. Here we have to fill in the blanks for the missing words, then match the word with their correct picture. If you were paying attention, this should be pretty easy. Let's see. Our first word starts with S-H, but then there is a missing letter. Do you know what letter is missing here? Yes. What is it? O. O. S-H-O-R-T. Short, right? Yes. What picture does this go with? One, two, three, or four? Two. Picture number two. The girl in the red dress, right? That's right. Then we have young. What letter is missing in the word young? A. I don't think it's A, but it is a vowel. U. U. Y O U N G. Young. Where does this go? Picture number one. Picture number one. The student. Good job. Then our next word is tall. We're missing one letter here, too. Do you know what that one is? A. A. Perfect. This goes with picture number? Four. Four. That's right. The tribesman. Then our next word is big. We're missing one letter. I. I. Perfect. And there it is. There's still more for us to do. Let's see the next four. 
the first word starting with S. Small. Small. M. M is the right missing word. Small. Which picture does this go with? One, two, three, or four? Two. Picture number two. Good job. The next word is missing the first letter. What do you think it could be? F. F. That's right. F. This says fat. Which one is fat? Number one. Number one. Then, the next word starting with O. L. That's right. Old. This goes with the grandma, doesn't it? Yes. And the next word, thin. What's the missing letter here? E. Not E. I. I. Perfect. Good job. Now it's time for us to move on. In this, Miss Patty is going to talk to Nam about different appearances. They're going to work together and see if they can help each other know who is what. Here we go. Miss Patty is with Nam and her friend. Miss Patty's going to ask a few questions. Let's see the first question. Miss Patty asks, Are you young? Are you young? Looking at Nam and the friend, what do you think? Is Nam young? Yes. She is. Nam's going to say, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Good job. Are you young? Yes, I am. Now, what about the friend? Is she young? No. I don't think so. She's going to respond, no, I'm not. No, I am not. No, I am not. Good job. That's great. This time, let's try to practice. I ask like Miss Patty, and you respond like Nam. Ready, go. Are you young? Yes, I am. Perfect. Now change your answer to the other friend. Are you young? No, I am not. Good job. It's important for us to practice asking and answering. You and your friends should take turns asking different questions and responding as well. Miss Patty still isn't done asking questions. She's going to ask another one. Let's see what it is. She asks, is she fat? Miss Patty changed the word from you to she. This means she's talking about the lady standing next to Nam. Nam's going to be the one to respond, saying, No, she is not. Remember, it's important for us to have the correct punctuation. We're going to put a comma right after no. Just like that. No, she is not. No, she is not. Good job. Try again. Is she fat? Is she fat? No, she is not. No, she is not. Perfect. Let's see if we can ask a different question. Is she thin? Is she thin? Is she thin? Is she thin? Well, if she's not fat, that must mean she is thin, right? Yes. Nan's going to say, yes, she is. Yes, she is. Try again. Is she thin? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Perfect. I hope you remember how to ask and answer these questions. We're going to do a few practices together just to see if you were paying attention. Is he fat? Is he fat? Is he fat? Is he fat? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Is he fat? Yes, he is. Good job. Take a look at the highlighted picture. I'm going to ask you a question and you have to answer correctly. Is he small? No, he's not. Is he fat? No, he's not. 
Is he tall? Yes, he is. That's right. He is tall. What about his daughter? Is she big? No, she's not. Is she small? Yes, she is. That's right. She is small. The daughter is small, but the dad is tall. Good job. Is she old? No, she's not. Is she young? Yes, she is. She is. That's right. She is young. Is she young? No, she's not. Is she small? No, she's not. But is she short? Yes, she is. She is short. That's right. Good job. Wow, you guys did great with all those exercises. You should keep practicing with a friend. Remember, all of these are in your book. If you need any extra help, just open it up and take a look. Let's sing a song together. I think I want to sing a song about appearances. This is good practice and will help us remember all the vocabulary words. Are you ready to sing with me? Yes. Are you ready to sing? Yes. Then let's get singing. You guys did great with that song. Did you enjoy it? Yes. It was fun, wasn't it? Yes. I had fun too. I really like to sing and to dance. Next week we'll sing another song, okay? Okay. Okay. But now that we're done singing, it's time for us to grab our pencils and let's get to work. We're going to answer the questions by writing together. Let's take a look at question number one. Are you young? We need to pay attention to the words that they use. You, he, she, or they. Then we should respond correctly. Are you young? If you say you, we're going to say I. Are you young? Yes. I. Am. Good job. Are you young? Yes, I am. Perfect. Let's try number two. Do we have the word you here? No. We're using the word she. So our answer will have to use sh she too. 
Is she tall? No, she's not. No, she is not. No, she is not. Good job. Is she tall? No, she is not. Good job. Question number three. Is he small? No, he is not. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. What should we say then? No, he is not. No, he is not. Good job. The next question, I want you to read the question and tell me the answer. Is he short? Is he short? No, he is not. No, he is not. Good job. If he's not short, then what is he? He's tall. Is he tall? Yes, he is. That's right. Good job. Question number five. Is he fat? Yes, he is. Is he fat? Yes. He is. Perfect. Are you big? Are you big? Wow, she looks pretty big to me. No. She's not? No. Then what is she? Small. Oh, okay. She's small, right? Yes. Are you big? No, I am not. No. I am not. Good job. That was perfect. Are you big? No, I am not. No, I am not. Is she thin? Is she thin? I don't know. She looks pretty fat to me. No. Then what is she? She's thin. She's thin. Okay. Is she thin? Yes, she is. Yes. She is. Good job. One more. Is she thin? Yes, she is. Good job. Are you old? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes. I am. Perfect. Good job. Why don't you give yourselves a big round of applause? You did great with all of these exercises and activities. Let's review all the appearances together one more time, just in case you forgot. Ready, go. Tall. Tall. Short. Short. Thin. Thin. Fat. Fat. Big. Big. Small. Small. That's all of them, right? No. It's not? No. What are we missing? Young. Young? Old. And old. Wow. You guys did a good job. Thanks for all your help today. It was really great working with you. Do you know any uh, people that follow these appearances? Yes. What about your mom? Is she tall? Is she short? She's tall. She's tall. What about your dad? Is he fat or is he thin? He's thin. He's thin too. Wow, that's great. Well, thanks so much for helping me. We'll see you again next week, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. You guys did a good job today too. You can practice all of these different exercises and activities in your workbook. Remember to look at appearances of other people. And you can always practice at home with your parents or at school with your teachers and your friends. Thanks again for watching. Bye.